in reality awful uh, or soft tissue, if you like, for, for want of a better description, soft tissue is very nutritious in just the same way as meat is very nutritious. In fact, some years ago, um, in, um, I was doing a lot of work in aquaculture and um, we actually did some work with soft tissue meal, which is fundamentally awful meal. And that, from a nutritional point of view, was some of the, one of the best products ever came across in terms of replacing fish meal and aquaculture diets. Highly nutritious, highly digestible, and, um, and, and a very, very good source of nutrients. So the, the question is not how much meat versus how much offal. It's a matter of how good is the meat, how good is the offal. Because that's really what, what, what sets, sets, the, um, sets the agenda. If we've got good meat and we've got good offal, then that's fine. We can combine them in whatever ratio we want because we know that we're going to get a specific nutrient profile from whatever the ingredient ends up being. And it's the specific nutrient profile, the digestibility of that, of, of that nutrient profile, um, and, and, the, um, and the quality of it in terms of essential nutrients that's really, really important when we're putting the diet together. So I don't really see, I don't draw a distinction between offal and meat. Um, I just see them as being suitable ingredients provided they are processed Correctly, and they come from good, clean animals that are not infected or, or, or um, contaminated in any way, and either is fine.